Pittsburgh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, nice what to meet you. What brought you to Pittsburgh? Uh, the atmosphere, the coach. You feel me? Like, I love what we got going here for sure. We gonna win the Natty. That's what we. That's the goal. You feel me? And we working towards it. So, I want to be a part of that. I was talking to Coach Underwood, and he said you guys had a relationship prior. You were yeah. at the portal before. Kind of tell me about that story and you know, um, how you reconnected. When I was transferring the first time from Tennessee, um, I actually met Coach Underwood at Rutgers. And you feel me, we hit it off the first time, but it actually didn't work out. I didn't end up going to Rutgers. But you feel me, like, God just had a plan, and we ended up being together now. So we're going to make plays. I'm glad I'm with him. What about Coach Underwood made him, you know, made him and your relationship? What about the relationship? Um, he's a player's coach. Like, one, he's been where I want to be. And two, like, he want, he, he want the best for all the uh, kids. So you feel me, like, he, he going to teach me to be the best. Like, no cap, I, he, we got a great room. And he was telling me like I could be a part of it. He want me to work. He gonna show me basically how to be a pro. So I really appreciate that about him. Did he contact you or did you contact him? Um, when I first got in the portal, I'm not even sure. I can't even. I, I think I probably contacted him probably um, a few times, but I didn't even know he was at um, Pitt until you feel me. Things just happened that way. So kind of. I think I probably contacted him. Yes, sir. What do you think is like one of your biggest strengths as a receiver? Are you more like inside, outside, or what's um, the table that no one else really can? I play, I play both inside and outside. But as a receiver, you feel me? I, I'm big, fast, strong, and I feel like I just bring like, give me the ball and I can make plays. I'm a playmaker, and I feel like we can, I can contribute to the team, bring the playmaking ability, and we can, you feel me, win, help the team win. Between Louisiana Tech and Pitt training camp. Louisiana Tech, oh man, it get hot out there. Oh, it get real. It's hot out here today, but it get treacherous in Louisiana, yeah, for sure. So probably the, uh, the heat. Other than that, you feel me? It's an, we getting getting work in. So it, both camps, you feel me? We work. Uh, this one, it's a lot. Like, I guess you could say it's more like we we they they practice like pros a little more. Like mm -hmm. some more little intense up here, for sure. So I like it. It's, we competing. I like it. Coach Rashad mentioned how, when you're talking about going against some of the receivers, how you especially like to be physical on yeah. your routes and everything. Uh, is that something you take a lot of pride in? Is not when the DB really jam you or stop you from getting into your route? Yeah, I do whatever it takes. Do you feel me? Win my route. You feel me? My job is to get open and catch the ball. So by any means necessary, no cap. Coach talked about leadership from Jared Wayne. What have you learned from him so far? Uh. Jay Wayne, Weezy, that's my dog, man. That boy is a leader for sure. He made sure he keep me keep me right, make sure I'm um, on time for meetings. He'll send the, uh, the 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 install out. That's my dog. He is a true leader, no couch. Jay Wayne, that's the, that's the leader in our room for sure. I talked to Jared the other day, and he said the thing about your receiver room is not like two guys are alike. They're, everyone kind of brings something a little different. Kind of talk about all the receivers you guys have. We got some talent in the receiver room, no cap. Probably got the best receiver room in the nation, in my opinion. Yeah, you feel me? But um, we got uh, we got a few receivers. All of us bring something different to the table. We got speed. We got route runners. We got people that go on top. You feel me? Like we got a plethora of talent in our room. So I feel like we're gonna be able to make a lot of plays this year. But what was your reaction or you know just mindset when you found out that you were eligible for this season? Oh. That was a blessing, a weight lifted off my shoulder. And I, honestly, I wasn't really focused on that, you feel me, when I was going through the summer. Like, I totally actually forgot about it, no cap. Like, I'm working hard with my teammates. Like, that actually wasn't even, it was in the back of my mind, but it wasn't really bothering me too much. And so when Coach called me, he kind of lifted the weight off my shoulders. Now I feel like my work was going towards something. Like, now I'm getting ready to work for September 1st. Like, it's, it's, it's go time. It's a blessing, no cap. I'm really grateful for that. This team has a, to replace a missing Bolitnikov winner from yeah, that's last crazy. season. I mean, the best receiver in the country. Uh, mm -hmm. Does that mean, is any one guy going to try to step in and fill the shoes, or do you all have to do it together? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how, how they're going to take care of that. But I know that our room, you feel me, with, with him, we were going to be great. Without him, we're going to be great. Great, great player that left. But you feel me, like, without him, we got to still make plays. You feel me? So I, I feel like our room going to be do, do good. You feel me? Without him, for sure. You see that, B? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are big up here. Not to get too far ahead of ourselves here, but you got that game week two circled against Tennessee. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's going to be a big game, but I'm trying to get to se September 1st first. You I feel me? That's not the backyard bra rivalry, but that's a real rivalry. Yeah, that's a real rivalry for me. I take that a little personal, but yeah, we got to get through September 1st. That's what my mind set on. We got to get to through Friday at count, you feel me? So, yes, sir. You want to show them what they're missing? Is that what oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to put on a show against them. <laughs> Always going to be a big game. I want to beat them bad, yeah taking that a little personal. This is your third school. Does it feel like a settled down situation? You finally find a home here? Uh, yes, sir. Um, my third school, I was kind of young and you feel me changing and a lot like life happened. So I'm glad I ended up here. Uh, the people around me, my teammates, my coaches, 
everybody just helped me grow, helped me become a part of this team, and I feel like I can do great things here with my teammates. What do you make of the two guys that throw you the ball? Oh, boy, them boys good. No cap, them boys good. We're going to be elite. Whoever, I don't care who's playing. Like, we're going to be elite. That, that boy's like, our quarterback going to have a great season. Yes, sir. Can you be any happier about your situation? <sighs> nah, this is a blessing. I'm real grateful, no cap. I'm appreciative appreciative of all of this like it's like a dream come true i used to i used to be a Steelers fan when i was growing up so like really? me to be practicing on at the same facility that's just a blessing like i can't ask for nothing more who is your favorite Steelers wide receiver Steelers wide receiver uh antonio brown of course yeah how'd, how'd you become a Steelers? uh i like troy palomalo back in the day yeah i used to want to play safety <laughs> how's your hair compared to his uh, it's getting there. Look, by the time I get to the league, you feel me? Hopefully, my hair I can have iconic hair like him. But you feel me? Right now, that's my do. My let my hair do his own little thing. <laughs> Try to get a sponsorship with Head and Shoulders. Like Ooh, now if I get something like that, we are gonna be in the game. Yeah. <laughs>